Canadian Air Force personnel work with their Army colleagues at Kandahar Airfield to operate tactical unmanned aerial vehicles, which fly through the skies of Kandahar Province, providing critical intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to mission commanders and NATO allies, and greatly reduce the risk to Canadian soldiers on the ground. Canadian Forces purchased the Spurwar system as an urgent operational requirement for the operation in Kabul in 2004. We're using it here in Kandahar for the same reasons. It can cover large distances and it can be used as a sense asset in very uh, undulating terrain. The role here for the Spurwar is to provide situational awareness, live uh, feed information to the battle group commander, area surveillance, uh, convoy escort, a force protection sense for uh, our soldiers on the ground, and we provide non-sensitive information required for uh, higher analysis in this theater of operation. The information that we gather in during a mission is sent by a certain uh, bandwidth of microwave uh, to our ground data terminal uh, where it's processed and pushed over the ground control station which provides us the live video which we in turn provide to the various uh, operation centers so that they can maintain situational awareness of what's happening on the ground. Normally we're given our uh, mission uh, well in advance. Uh, the ground control station crew will plan the mission, make the uh, appropriate airspace arrangements for the duration of the mission. Then we pass on to uh, the various teams within the TUAV flight on timings, uh, what's the requirement of the uh, AV itself. Uh, then just prior to the actual launch, we mount the AV onto the launcher, uh, go through a system of checks to make sure that the transmission line of sight issues with the AV are satisfactory and then uh, which takes approximately two hours and then we uh, launch the AV on a standard mission. Lens pressure is 9.3 bar. At one, two, three. This is the ground control station. This is the station of the air vehicle operator. Its function is to control the plane in flight. This is from here that a route can be selected by applying a degree. The screens are similar to the payload operator, but the difference is this 17 inch screen show the aircraft data. And this is the desk of the payload operator. Its function is to acquire imagery and to control the three different camera on a plane. The payload operator can choose one of three different cameras. We have the pano camera, that's the camera that's in front of the nose of the plane. We have the day TV camera, and we have the IR camera. We have the joystick who's able to control the camera, select it, and we have a focus and a zoom. The 17 inch screen gives the position of the plane on a map and the position where the camera is looking on the ground. The 14 inch screen shows real time imagery. All the imagery acquired by the plane are going to be recorded on those two videotapes. Plus, 
this one we're going to record all the sound of the station is equivalent of a black box of a plane all the data of the plane is going to be recorded on this dvd uav uh, comes on a roughly a three mile to five mile uh, final leg and it descends down to approximately 200 meters above the ground uh, at which point we command it to to go into recovery it will uh, pitch its nose up, the engine will stop, uh, a parachute will deploy, and airbags will uh, uh, blow up uh, three of them uh, underneath the air vehicle itself, and it will descend down to our recovery site where we have personnel on the ground who will uh, take care of it from there. The Spurwar system is uh, definitely a new capability within the Canadian Forces, and it has done a fantastic job in uh, aiding our soldiers on the ground and providing that information live or later down in the road in the mission in order to assure the force protection for our soldiers. And it will uh, definitely uh, earn its keep uh, in supporting that role and the overall mission here in Kandahar.